Welcome to the Fishing Musicians with your host, musician, and lover of fishing, Mr. Glenn Ferguson, and special guest host, musician, and comedian, Mr. Jimmy Flynn. You know, people everywhere in the whole world love good music, and everywhere you go, people love to go fishing. So join us for the next 30 minutes as we combine the best of both on the Fishing Musicians. The Fishing Musicians is brought to you by FergusonAudio.ca, your total marketing specialist. Now, make any advertising campaign idea a reality with the experience, facilities, and service you can rely on growing to serve you better. This week on The Fishing Musicians, our adventures continue with a trip across the pond to my ancestral homeland, Scotland. Rich in history, culture, and fishing, Scotland is famous for many reasons, and none more famous to me than the Spay Cast. So join Jimmy and me as we travel to Scotland in search of new angling techniques. Have a whole bunch of fun sightseeing with our host guide, Bob Brownless of Bob Sport, and get piped in during a Scottish traditional evening filled with Guinness beer, Highland dancers, bagpipes, and of course, haggis. You won't want to miss this, so we'll be right back. Our journey begins with a five-hour drive from my hometown in Bathurst, New Brunswick. We meet up with Jimmy Flynn at the Halifax International Airport. We take an overnight flight with Air Canada to London Heathrow Airport, one of the world's busiest major airports. We must transfer by bus from Heathrow to Gatwick Airport. Welcome to London. Sleeping on the plane has never been very easy for me, so the possibility of acquiring even 10 minutes where I can is always a must. Dazed and confused, we're both suffering from sleep deprivation. Finally, we are off on our last flight towards Edinburgh, Scotland. A safe landing, we meet up with Bob Brownless and he explains where we're heading to. The Cairngorm Mountains. It's approximately two hours drive in reasonable traffic. We're heading north to Perth, then up to Pitalochri, and then on to Aviemore, which is here, next to Inverness. Oh, there you are, that's, that's Scotland for you. And this is the Cairngorm Mountains, this is the area where we're going to fish on, on the River Spey, at Boat of Garton. Well folks, we finally made it to Scotland. Jimmy, we're here, and we're here with Bob Sport. Bob. Yeah, it's really good to meet you guys. Bob, Bob Brownless. Thanks for bringing us around. We've already seen some amazing things. Where are we? What, what is this place? Is well, it? we're at the top of the Dromocter Pass at the moment, which is heading north towards Inverness. Uh, we're actually at the very source of the River Tay, which starts up in these mountains here. On one side, you have the Tay coming out of Loch Erecty, and then just beyond this mountain here, you'll find the River Spey. So you've got the Spey on one side of the mountain, and the tea on the other. With virtually no sleep in two days, we arrive in Aviemore, Scotland. Bob has an evening of entertainment lined up, with local spirits being served, local music being played, and of course, a bit of Jimmy Flynn and Glenn Ferguson entertainment. You know, we had a great first night in Scotland, and I have to thank Bob for that. He organized this whole party for us. And we were actually finally able to catch a few winks in Bob's cozy bed and breakfast. The next morning, we get our chance to look at the mighty River Spey. You know something, Grant? I've been, we've both been to a lot of places in the world, but this is definitely one beautiful spot. 
if you want to come to a place where fly fishing is really a tradition, it's much like golf, it really one of the places it started from and originated from, Scotland is the place to go and visit our website fishingmusicians.com to get to, uh, to Ireland to fish with Bob Sport. We're fishing on the Spey River. Jimmy, you're, learn you're about to learn how to spay fish. But I'm telling you, we're not in Ireland, we're in Scotland. Oops. <laughs> oh, hey, don't, don't say nothing, sheep. <laughs> Sheep! Sheep shagging! Someone fucking shot him! <laughs> you sleep, you sleep, you sleep through the sheep shit! <laughs> oh, he's crazy about them sheep. Yeah. Fishing in Scotland has always been a dream of mine. Though I've been here before, I had never had the opportunity to actually fish. In no better place than the famous Spey River, where the Spey cast was invented. The Spey cast has always been a mystery to me. I had only seen the technique being used on television. Casting for resilient Atlantic salmon has been a tradition in Scotland for centuries. The rivers are wide, the salmon are big, and they're always on the move. The spay rod is usually around 15 feet long and uses a two-hand technique, requiring you not to back cast, but basically roll the fly into the pools, anywhere from 100 to 150 feet away. Bob Brownless of Bob Sport is one of the world's top spay casters. He claims right to catching over 4,000 salmon in his lifetime. The spay rod is his sword, and he uses it with such accuracy that his record is not in doubt. Spay. The spay cast. The spay cast. The spay, the spay cast. cast. He's calling me Grasshopper today. It's like a Kung Fu movie, but I'm the Grasshopper, and he's teaching me how to spay cast. This is known as a single spay because being right-handed and being on the left bank, we're actually, the right arm is over the river, so it's oh, yeah. much easier to roll it off the right okay. than the left. This afternoon we're going to the right bank, we'll be doing what's called a double spay cast. If you were left-handed here, you'd be double spaying from here, up, right back, on. and over. It's three, three um, strokes, whereas this one is two strokes. It's up, lay your line down, roll it over. Okay. The spay cast can enable the angler to throw at 150 lay feet of line down. in the right conditions. Why spay cast? So distance, and it requires no back cast. Just a roll cast. As you were about to see, anyone can do it. So, hand here, hand there. And so. Up to here. Yeah. And over. I see what you mean now. You come back too far, mm -hmm. it just touches the water, just right? Just sponges it. Yeah. yeah. That's it. And now, you see the angle has changed downstream. Yeah. You've got to aim at that fence. Pick a target on the other bank and bring the rod tip down to there. Now you see how your fly just rolls over to where you've pointed your rod? Yeah. That's important. Left, or go off on the right. That's good. Hi, hey, you're picking up pretty quick there. That's good. Up, side, and over. That's it. It's just practice makes perfect. Yeah. You've got the basic of it. You've got the basics of it there. Just work on that. Thank I'll you, Bob. Continue. That's a whole new fish experience for me. You're very welcome, yeah. When I first bought this reel, it was 20 pounds. You're getting 250 pounds for these reels now. And a real Hardy's Mark Listen, it's a reel. Now listen to the, the, the ratchet on it. Yeah, when the big salmon grabs it, it's... That's it. <laughs> That's what you want. Screaming reels. Screaming reels, yeah. Absolutely. Listen, we're going to have to break this off. Gears stuff. Glenn's up there chasing sheep again. <laughs> Leave them sheep alone! <laughs> One thing about here, a lot of sheep around here. I don't know if it's me or I got some type of something stuck in my nose, but it really smells like sheep or goat urine or something everywhere. It's either that or it's Jimmy's breath. I don't think it's Jimmy's breath. I'm just joking about Jimmy's breath. He's always got tic tacs. Tic tac, sir. Tic tac. You're fishing. Oh, I had a little hit there. 
My, uh, my name's Bob Brownless. I'm a mad keen salmon fisher. I started a company, company 22 years ago called Bob Sport to um, give people a chance to fish in Scotland, show them the, the way to the salmon pools, teach them how to fly cast, in particular spay casting. Uh, the company has various package holders from daily fishing to three day fishing with um, two nights accommodation, dinner, bed and breakfast, or you can have a week with five nights. We can vary the packages to suit your needs. I pick up at Edinburgh Airport, stop off on the Tay, on the way up to the River Spey, which is approximately two hours journey from Edinburgh. We start on the 15th of January on the uh, River Tay, on the opening day, and we'll fish right through till February when the Spey starts opening up and the Tweed, the Dee and the Don and all the West, East Coast rivers uh, in particular, where you've always got plenty of water for the fish to run all year round. Well, we had to leave the spay casting lesson to another day, another journey, hopefully. But there are times, you know, when even the best leave the fishing hole without a fish, Bob being one of them this day. But the point of this morning wasn't as much about catching fish as it was about learning a new fishing technique and just enjoying an incredible morning. Bob had promised he would take us to another favorite fishing hole at the Seafield Estates in Aviemore, Scotland. Whoa! <laughs> Get that shot, that's beautiful. Let's do it again. Oh well. Look at this place. There's ducks, there's fish everywhere. It's Scotland, folks. We're in Scotland! I'm finally in Scotland fishing! Wow! Oh! They're all over the place here. Here we go, fish on, fish on. There, my first Scottish fish. Ooh, wow, that's a nice, nice one. Fish. There we go. Not sure what this is, if it's a brown or a rainbow, but it's a nice trout anyway. You couldn't get much better fishing than this. The mountains in the background. Oh, that's a nice, lovely fish for sure. Wow. What kind of, what is this, a rainbow? Yes, it is, I think so, eh? Whoa! Wow, nice fish. Oh, look at the colors. Yee-hoo! I think he's tired out. Look at that, beautiful fish. Keep him in the water. Caught, get it. Oh yeah. It's easier than getting the in the net. Yes, you're right, exactly. Yeah. I prefer it this way too. So I'll just scoop them, pull them up for you, pull and them then up. we'll take the fly out and put them back, okay? So what's the average size rainbow in here? Uh, the average is about three pounds, I would say. And uh, you have fish in here in double figures, up to about uh, 15. Wow. So now in fact, Alfie was just saying there's a fish in here. What, what size do you reckon it is, Alfie? Well over 10. Well over 10 pounds. Yeah. There's a nice, thick, deep fish. There's about four pounds in it. Oh. Look at him He's got a good tail on this one. Beautiful. There we go. Good fighting fish. Let's figure it out. You run them up under the beach again, I'll, I'll get a hold of them. There you go. Settle down. Wow, what a fat fish. Wow. Wow. Uh, we'll Look at that. Hungry. Okay. Let me hold it. Oh. There you, you go. fish with the fishing musicians. Mr. Bob! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, fish. Sorry. Sorry. You okay, want to okay. hold them? Hold your fish. Why don't we get another? Let that one go. Now what age would that rainbow be? How old? Oh, it's going to be 18 months, two years? Two years. Two year old. Well done. 
Thank you very much, Bob. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Folks, that's my first one. After these commercials, we'll be right back and I'm gonna catch more than Jimmy. You're watching The Fishing Musicians. Jeez, that was a monster. There it goes. Whoa! Jeez! Oh, he was on you, man. <laughs> That's a good fish, too. There he is. Fish on. He's on. Yes! <laughs> fish on. He's a big one. Yes, sir. My first Scottish brown trout, is it? Big fish. We got pliers. Boys, oh boys. He's a big one. Yikes. <laughs> there he comes. What a beautiful fish. Well, we're we'll getting the net wet. Keep him out of that reel bed. Okay, and just bring them around that corner, and I'll dip them. There we go. Wow. On fish. Way! First shower today. Wow, beautiful rainbow. Isn't that good, huh? Wow. Isn't that beauty? Yes, sir. Can you get that hook out of it? Nope. That's a rainbow, a Scottish rainbow. A Scottish rainbow. Around about the three pound mark. Is that much more? What do you think of this? It gets yeah. bigger as it goes nearer the camera. <laughs> Okay. Way! <laughs> I can't keep him out too long, guys. Gonna have to go now. Okay. Right. Let him back. Thank you. Okay him, with that? Yeah. That's good. That's good. Well done. <laughs> bye bye. Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Right there, buddy. He's coming in this time. Oh, fish on! It's a game now. So how does it feel, Jimmy, to be pulling in uh, all these rainbow trout in Scotland, your first trip here? First trip here, what a trip. What a, what a country. I mean, the people are so nice, and the scenery is incredible. It's like being in heaven. Well, you know what? I what couldn't... an accent. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't ask for a better co-host. I just wanted to say thanks for coming with me, buddy. Uh, well, thank you for having me. Look at the fish we're catching here. Every time I gotta catch all the fish. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? Look at that. There he comes. Oh. There you Look go. At that for a beautiful fish. Scotland. Beautiful Scottish fish. Jimmy, kiss your fish. Oh. You didn't kiss him. I did so. You no, kissed him. Give me down the trotter. <laughs> Back into the water. Oh. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Excellent. There you go, buddy. He's a big one. We were just going to leave it. One more cast. Oh, man. That little one. See that, Glenn? He must have came six feet underwater. Beautiful fish. Here we are. <laughs> Boy, they ain't shabby fish, they're fighters.
Here comes Pampy. Fish, look, man. Sorry, man. Holy jeez. What a trip to Scott Fallen. <laughs> <laughs> you're in the water. Okay, time to put you back. There you go. Get in there. He's gone. <laughs> wow. What a day we're having here. Fish after fish after fish. So if you want to fish rainbow trout like this in Scotland, we're using Bob Sport. You can go to his website, www.bobsport.co.uk. Oh, he's a thumper. He's more like a steelhead than a rainbow, this. And you can get trout Brilliant. like this in Scotland. That's a beauty. Thanks, Bob. Okay, great, there you go. Great fishing. One good fish. Scotland, the brave. With the fishing musicians. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna be, need to change before we go. Before we go back to the old bridge inn, that is, for more spirits and a cheers for what has already been a perfect day. What a day of fishing. Thank you, sir. That was good. Thank you very much, Bob. Yes, Slangeva. Awesome day. Yes, to you. And you. <laughs> now, to make this even more perfect, it can only be completed by a Scottish traditional evening stocked with bagpipes, Highland dancers, and of course, haggis. That, you know, the haggis I could take. It's the scotch that you have to pour over it, is what gets me by surprise. Welcome to the cave, folks. We had a great trip in Scotland, and it's not over yet. Stay tuned for more. I wanted to bring you to the cave to just show you a little bit of jamming I was doing on one of the songs that I created for the Scottish show. We'll take you around and show you a little bit of the riff. Join us next week as our Scottish adventure continues. We strut our stuff performing new Scottish jigs and catching more Scottish rainbow trout. We also take a ride on the Carngorm Funicular. It is the country's highest and fastest mountain railway. And then we are off to the Scandinavian country of Norway. We land in Bergen, Norway's second largest center. We take some time to do some sightseeing, of course, before we head off with our host, Scott McCall of Netfish for some great fishing. Norway is famous for its Vikings, trolls, and its amazing beauty. It has something to offer at every turn. We enjoyed amazing weather. We were treated like kings and returned the favor with some Canadian-style Jimmy Flynn fun. We were also entertained by some awesome Norwegian talent in one of the most memorable campfire barbecues I have ever seen. So be sure to join us next week, folks, on The Fishing Musicians. Keep your guitars in tune, conserve our land, keep the peace, and tight lines. Take care, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>